Hi, I'm Carrie, and I'm a food science major from Clark Range, Tennessee. And I'm Dan, I'm animal science here at Tennessee, and I'm from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. We're going to give you a tour of the Ag Campus today, and we're going to touch on buildings like the Plant Biotech Building, Brim Animal Science, and Morgan Hall, and we're also going to take you into the gardens. Behind me is Morgan Hall. This is the main building here on the Agricultural Campus. It houses the Dean's Office, as well as Agricultural Extension Programs and the Ag Economics Department. Morgan Hall houses the offices for Kasner, Tennessee Agricultural Experiment Station, UT Extension, and numerous other administrative offices. This building is also home to the Agricultural Economics Department and the Agricultural and Extension Education Program. On the second floor are the two classrooms in Morgan Hall. They're called smart classrooms because they have wireless capabilities and smart board technology. On the second floor also is the recruitment and retention office. We are now standing in front of McCord Hall. This building houses the animal science and fishery and wildlife laboratories. Also, if you're an animal science major, then you will most likely be advised in this building. There are 12 different places to eat across UT. Some of the places are cafeteria style and others are fast food oriented. The dining facilities at UT specifically have great food. The food in the cafeterias includes salad bars, pasta bars, and fruit bars as well. The Ag Campus even has a cafeteria. Mabel's Cafe has served the Agriculture Campus for more than 50 years. Mabel's Cafe is located in McCord Hall on the Agriculture Campus. It was named after Mabel Davenport, who worked in this location for more than 50 years. You can even use your meal plan here. It's perfect for days when most of your classes are here, or you just don't have time to go back to main campus for one of the larger, busier cafeterias. We're now in front of McLeod Hall, which is the main building for the food science department. In it houses two floors of laboratories, and also my favorite part of the building, which is the sensory panel. In the sensory panel, they hold weekly tastings of products such as baked beans or ice cream, which is free as long as you fill out the surveys. Here we are in front of the Brim Animal Science Building. This building is one of the largest on the Ag Campus and houses the largest major. Roughly 85% of all incoming freshmen are animal science majors. In this building, you will have almost all of your animal science classes. Hey, you want to go in the arena? Sure, let's show them. Here we are in the arena of Brim Animal Sciences. Here we have cattle shows, UT's annual roundup, as well as many other livestock judging competitions. Over to the left is a wet lab, where in Animal Science 220 you do live neurological exams as well as dissections. We're now standing outside of Ellington Plant Sciences. In this building, the wildlife and fisheries, plant sciences, as well as forestry all have classes. Behind me is Hollingsworth Auditorium. Here, all the banquets, such as scholarship and honors banquets, will be held. Here we are in front of the Biosystems and Engineering and Environmental Sciences building. Students interested in this major combine agriculture and engineering to come up with new and creative precision type farming ideas. Here we are in front of UT's brand new plant biotechnology building, which when built was coined the most technologically advanced building in the state. In this building, there are state-of-the-art classrooms and laboratories for plant science students as well as entomology and plant pathology. And now we're going to go take a look inside. We're now inside one of the classrooms in the brand new plant biotechnology building. As you can see, there's internet access at every seat and the classroom is smart board capable. Even though this classroom is the plant biotech building, students of all majors will have an opportunity to take classes in classrooms such as this. The Plant Biotechnology Building is a $38.5 million, three-building complex established to provide Tennessee with state-of-the-art plant and animal research. This building is one of the most advanced facilities of its kind, and it's located at the heart of the Institute of Agriculture's Knoxville campus. The Plant Biotechnology Building's five levels contain 81,000 square feet of assignable space. Facilities include a centralized, state-of-the-art genomics laboratory for DNA sequencing, genotyping and microarray analysis, plant growth chambers, plant tissue culture rooms, a biosafety laboratory, and rooms dedicated to radioisotope use and epifluorescence microscopy. We're now in UT 
Southeast Trail Gardens, which is one of 33 gardens in the nation like this. The gardens are also a great place to come, walk, take pictures, study, and even walk your dog. Oh, look, it's UT's mascot, Smokey. Here we have Smokey's handler, Tyler. Uh, I'm Tyler Brandon. I'm one of the uh, smoking handlers for UT. This here is Smokey Nine. He's four years old. He's a blue tick hound, and he's UT's live animal mascot. It's a long-standing tradition here at UT to have the Smokies continuously through a line. Smokey leads out the football team during the football games. Well, that concludes our virtual tour for the day. If you're interested in seeing some other videos, feel free to log on to our website where you can find videos on what to do at Knoxville in your spare time, dining and living conditions here at UT, and a video that even lets you meet your professors. And also, if you'd like to come and schedule your own personal tour to UT, feel free to do that at kasner.utk.edu by clicking on the Meet the Ambassadors link and filling out all the information there. I'm Carrie Jones. And I'm Daniel Houlihan. And thank you for watching our video. And we hope to see you soon.